As soon as the snow melts in the spring, everyone's first uh, intention is to get outside and throw a little fertilizer on the lawn to really get the lawn greened up and looking good. And uh, you know, there's a great time to do that. In our lawn program, which is in our calendar, uh, it's got all the steps of keeping your lawn green and healthy and looking great all, all summer long. So uh, first step application right here is usually between St. Patrick's Day and Easter. So generally we're looking for about the middle part of March through the middle part of April to put our first application on. We've got a couple different options for you right there. <clears throat> and uh, you've got you know, fertilizer with a pre-emergent or a fertilizer with a weed killer in it or just a good old fertilizer just to get things going. So uh, if you don't have a copy of our five-step lawn program, please stop in at Anderson Seed. We've got a copy. We can give it to you. You can put it on your refrigerator or put it on your wall or put it next to your calendar or whatever. And it will walk you through the entire year and tell you what options you have to put on your lawn and it tells you exactly when to put that on to keep your lawn at its healthiest and it's look and looking its best. So uh, be sure and stop in and get a lawn program. But our lawn program suggests that you start off with either the Weed and Feed with Dimension from Fertilome, which has a great fertilizer in it. This is one of the best fertilizers that's out there for the, the, the early part of the season. It's got a great nitrogen slow release in there, a little bit of iron, a lot of micronutrients, plus it has a weed preventer. The weed preventer is going to stop all kinds of weedy grasses from coming up. So we're talking about crabgrass, foxtail, goosegrass, you know, chickweed, Dallas grass, Johnson grass. It's going to kill all those grasses as they're germinating because a lot of those seeds will drop in the fall and uh, they'll germinate in the spring. Usually around the first part of May is the time that we want to do that. And so that particular pre-emergent in their dimension will stop all those weedy grasses. Plus it stops a lot of broadleaf weeds as well too. So it'll work on purslane. It uh, really suppresses dandelions. It, it stops a lot of different weeds. So in Instead of having you know, a ton of weeds popping up in your lawn throughout the summertime, by using a pre-emergent like the Weed and Feed with Dimension from Fertilome, you won't have nearly as many weeds to have to deal with because it's going to stop them before they get started. Of course, it won't kill any weeds that are there, but it'll stop new ones as they germinate. So as those seeds pop open and the weeds start to come out, it'll control those weeds just as they get started. If you have a lot of weeds in your lawn already and want to get those under control, best way to do that to start the year off with is with the weed free zone with fertilizer. <clears throat> If you've already put your weed and feed with dimension on, I've got the weed free zone in a liquid that you can go and spot treat with. But if you want to do it all in once with a fertilizer and a weed killer, the weed free zone with fertilizer is a great way to go. Easy way to apply both a weed control and a fertilizer at the same time. The great thing about the weed free zone is it, it works in cooler temperatures. So it'll work when your daytime temperatures are in the mid to, you know, mid 40s uh, up until about 90 degrees. So we've got plenty of time to use it this spring because we won't hit 90 for a long time. Um, but uh, the weed free zone gets morning glory, wild violets, thistles, mallow, clover, all the hard to kill weeds. It does just a great job at stopping those and it works fast. So you can apply it and usually within a day or two you'll see those weeds just starting to curl up and die already. And like I said it works in cooler temperatures. With a weed and feed like this you want to make sure that when you apply it the grass is a little bit damp so it'll, it'll stick to the blades of the grass, leave it on for 24 hours, and then go ahead and water it after that. So <clears throat> you definitely want to put it on when the grass is a little bit damp so it can stick on and uh, really do a good job on those weeds, but then make sure you get it watered in within 24 to 48 hours so it gets down into the ground and the fertilizer can start to do its work. You know, with the weed free, uh, with the weed and feed with dimension, with the pre-emergent, you want to water that in usually shortly after you've put it on, but it doesn't have to be watered in immediately. So if you can water it within a day or two of having applied the weed and feed with dimension, that will work out just fine as your pre-emergent really needs the water to, to start working. If you don't need to control weeds or if you don't have that many that show up during the summertime, you just want to put a good fertilizer on, we really recommend the 161616. Uh, the, the Utah's finest or the Anderson's best triple 16 is what we carry and it's just a nice balanced fertilizer you can put on your lawn you can throw it in the flower beds you can uh use it in your vegetable garden, it's great for flowers, I and mean, it's just a nice general purpose fertilizer that you can use in a lot of different applications. And uh, it's a, a very balanced fertilizer, so it's great for all kinds of different plants. And we like that uh, balanced fertilizer to start the year off with with our lawns because it really helps encourage some root development, gets your grass to spread out and thicken up, and it also has the right amount of nitrogen in there to green it up and get it looking good as well too. So we have a lot of different options to start the year off with. 
If uh, you just want a spot treat for weeds, again, like I said, just use the, the weed free zone, the liquid. You can just go and spot treat for those few weeds that may have wintered over from last year. Otherwise, you've got some great options to fertilize and uh, really green your lawn up and get it looking good. And uh, again, don't forget about our five step lawn program. And uh, don't hesitate to stop in and pick one of these up here at Anderson Seed and Garden. And it will kind of walk you through your uh, lawn program for the entire year, reminding you when it's time to, to apply a fertilizer and also giving you some options to choose from when the time comes.